can my app URL change at any time during the ILM process? That's what we're going to find out right now. Okay, so I'm in an environment and I have an app which is called Rewards and Recognition Demo App. Let's have a look at the details for that app. Click on the three dots and then click on details. Here we can see the web link, which is basically the app URL. So it's made of the app ID and at the end we have the tenant ID. So the tenant ID is not going to change in our case because we are going to stay in the same tenant and we are more interested in the app ID. And currently this app is not in a solution and that's what we're going to do right now. So let's navigate to solutions. And I do have a solution which has the same name, rewards and recognition demo. So we're going to click on it. And you can see that here I have several objects, but I do not have an app. So let's add the app. We're going to go into add existing app and canvas app. We choose our app and click on add. And now our app has been added to the solution. So again, let's have a look at the details. We can either select the app or just click on the three dots and go into details. And again, nothing seems to have changed. We still have the same tenant ID and we still have the same app ID as well. So, so far, when you move your app into a solution inside the same environment, then the app ID is not changing. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to export that solution and move the solution into a new environment. So let's close the blade and go back at the solution level. We're going to select it and click on export solution. We need to make sure that we've published all the customizations. We can also run the checker if we want to, but let's just click on next. The version has been incremented and now we can choose between managed or unmanaged, but for our demo, it doesn't matter. So let's keep it on manage and click on export. So now it's exporting. And after a few minutes, depending on the size of your solution, it finally exported the solution. And after clicking on the download button, then we can see that the solution has been exported. Now we're going to switch environments. So currently I only have two environments, but it doesn't matter. Let's choose this one and go into solutions, import solution, browse to select your file. And it's in my download folder. Select it, click on open, click next. Now we have a summary for the solution that we are importing. And you can see that the name is different. It's because I've renamed the solution in the source environment. We can click on advanced settings and we can see that the enable plugin steps and flow included in the solution is ticked and then click on next. My connections have the right account, so I can click on next. And because I've created some environment variables, it's asking me to select the SharePoint site. So I'm going to select the rewards and recognition and click on import. So now it's importing the solution. It has now been imported successfully. Let's open it. And again, let's look at the details for the app. So click on the three dots and details. And now if you look at the web link, the app ID is different. And because the app ID is part of the URL, indeed your URL for your app can change. So there you have it. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe because I have plenty more.